The Maluku Islands or the Moluccas are an archipelago within Banda Sea, Indonesia. Tectonically they are located on the Halmahera Plate within the Molucca Sea Collision Zone. Geographically they are located east of Sulawesi, west of New Guinea, and north and east of Timor. The islands were known as the Spice Islands due to the nutmeg, mace and cloves that were originally exclusively found there, the presence of which sparked colonial interest from Europe in the 16th century. The Maluku Islands formed a single province from Indonesian independence until 1999, when it was split into two provinces. A new province, North Maluku, incorporates the area between Morotai and Sula, with the arc of islands from Buru and Seram to Wetter remaining within the existing Maluku province. North Maluku is predominantly Muslim, and its capital is Sofifi on Halmahera Island. Maluku province has a larger Christian population, and its capital is Ambon. Though originally Melanesian, many island populations, especially in the Banda Islands, were exterminated in the 17th century during the Spice Wars. A second influx of immigrants primarily from Java began in the early 20th century under the Dutch and continues in the Indonesian era. Between 1999 and 2002, conflict between Muslims and Christians killed thousands and displaced half a million people. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name Maluku is thought to have been derived from the term used by Arab traders for the region, Jazirat al-Maluk, the island of the kings, from the word Malik, place Maluk. However, since the name itself has been mentioned in a 14th-century Majapahit eulogy, Nagarakretagama, that predates the arrival of Islam in Maluku at the late 15th century, other sources claim that the name comes from a local language with the meaning the head of a bull or the head of something large. Administrative divisions The Maluku Islands were a single province from Indonesian independence until 1999 when they were split into North Maluku and Maluku. North Maluku Province includes Ternate the former site of the provincial capital, Tador, Bakan and Halmahera the largest of the Maluku Islands. History Early history Arab merchants began to arrive in the 14th century, bringing Islam. Peaceful conversion to Islam occurred in many islands, especially in the centers of trade, while aboriginal animism persisted in the hinterlands and more isolated islands. Archaeological evidence here relies largely on the occurrence of pig's teeth, as evidence of pork eating or abstinence therefrom. Portuguese The most significant lasting effects of the Portuguese presence was the disruption and reorganization of the Southeast Asian trade, and in eastern Indonesia—including Maluku—the introduction of Christianity. The Portuguese had conquered the city-state of Malacca in the early 16th century and their influence was most strongly felt in Maluku and other parts of eastern Indonesia. After the Portuguese annexed Malacca in August 1511, one Portuguese diary noted it is 30 years since they became Moors. Afonso de Albuquerque learned of the route to the Banda Islands and other Spice Islands, and sent an exploratory expedition of three vessels under the command of Antonio de Abreu, Simão Afonso Bisigudo and Francisco Serrao. On the return trip, Francisco Serrao was shipwrecked at Hidu Island in 1512. There he established ties with the local ruler who was impressed with his martial skills. The rulers of the competing island states of Ternate and Tador also sought Portuguese assistance and the newcomers were welcomed in the area as buyers of supplies and spices during a lull in the regional trade due to the temporary disruption of Javanese and Malay sailings to the area following the 1511 conflict in Malacca. The spice trade soon revived but the Portuguese would not be able to fully monopolize nor disrupt this trade, allying himself with Ternate's ruler, Serrao constructed a fortress on that tiny island and served as the head of a mercenary band of Portuguese seamen under the service of one of the two local feuding sultans who controlled most of the spice trade. Both Serrao and Ferdinand Magellan, however, perished before they could meet one another. The Portuguese first landed in Ambon in 1513, but it only became the new centre for their activities in Maluku following the expulsion from Ternate. 
European power in the region was weak and Ternate became an expanding, fiercely Islamic and anti-European state under the rule of Sultan Bab Ullah r. 1570 and his son Sultan Said. Following Portuguese missionary work, there have been large Christian communities in eastern Indonesia through to contemporary times, which has contributed to a sense of shared interest with Europeans, particularly among the Ambanese. Dutch. The Dutch arrived in 1599 and competed with the Portuguese in the area for trade. Topic: After Indonesian independence. With the declaration of a single Republic of Indonesia in 1950 to replace the federal state, a Republic of South Maluku, Republic Maluku Seladin, RMS was declared and attempted to secede, and led by Chris Somokal, former Supreme Prosecutor of the Eastern Indonesia State, and supported by the Moluccan members of the Netherlands Special Troops. This movement was defeated by the Indonesian army and by special agreement with the Netherlands the troops were transferred to the Netherlands. Maluku is one of the first provinces of Indonesia, proclaimed in 1945 until 1999, when the Maluku Utara and Halmahera Tenga regencies were split off as a separate province of North Maluku. Its capital used to be Ternate, on a small island to the west of the large island of Halmahera, but has been moved to Sofifi on Halmahera itself. The capital of the remaining part of Maluku province remains at Ambon. 1999–2003 Intercommunal conflict Religious conflict erupted across the islands in January 1999. The subsequent 18 months were characterized by fighting between largely local groups of Muslims and Christians, the destruction of thousands of houses, the displacement of approximately 500,000 people, the loss of thousands of lives, and the segregation of Muslims and Christians. <laughs> Geology and geography The Maluku Islands have a total area of 850,000 square kilometers, 90% of which is sea. There are an estimated 1027 islands. The largest two islands, Halmahera and Saram are sparsely populated, while the most developed, Ambon and Ternate are small. The majority of the islands are forested and mountainous. The Tanambar Islands are dry and hilly, while the Aru Islands are flat and swampy. Mount Banaya, 3027 meters on Saram is the highest mountain. A number of islands, such as Ternate meters and the TNS Islands, are volcanoes emerging from the sea with villages sited around their coasts. There have been over 70 serious volcanic eruptions in the last 500 years and earthquakes are common. The geology of the Maluku Islands share much similar history, characteristics and processes with the neighboring Nusa Tenggara region. There is a long history of geological study of these regions since Indonesian colonial times, however, the geological formation and progression is not fully understood, and theories of the island's geological evolution have changed extensively in recent decades. The Maluku Islands comprise some of the most geologically complex and active regions in the world, resulting from their position at the meeting point of four geological plates and two continental blocks. Biota and environment Biogeographically, all of the islands apart from the Aru group lie in Wallacea, the region between the Sunda Shelf part of the Asia Bloc, and the Arafura Shelf part of the Australian Bloc. More specifically, they lie between Weber's Line and Lidecker's Line, and thus have a fauna that is rather more Australasian than Asian. Moluccan biodiversity and its distribution are affected by various tectonic activities. Most of the islands are geologically young, being from 1 million to 15 million years old, and have never been attached to the larger landmasses. The Maluku Islands differ from other areas in Indonesia, they contain some of the country's smallest islands, coral island reefs scattered through some of the deepest seas in the world, and no large islands such as Java or Sumatra. Flora and fauna immigration between islands is thus restricted, leading to a high rate of endemic biota evolving. The ecology of the Maluku Islands has fascinated naturalists for centuries. Alfred Wallace's book, The Malay Archipelago, was the first significant study of the area's natural history, and remains an important resource for studying Indonesian biodiversity. 
Maluku is the subject of two major historical works of natural history by Georg Eberhard Rumphius, the Herbarium Ambuanense and the Ambuanche Raritaitkammer. Rainforest covered most of northern and central Maluku, which, on the smaller islands, has been replaced by plantations, including the region's endemic cloves and nutmeg. The Tanambar Islands and other southeastern islands are arid and sparsely vegetated, much like nearby Timor. In 1997 the Manusala National Park, and in 2004, the Akedaja Lolabata National Park, were established, for the protection of endangered species. Nocturnal marsupials, such as couscous and bandicoots, make up the majority of the mammal species, and introduced mammals include Malayan civets and wild pigs. Bird species include approximately 100 endemics with the greatest variety on the large islands of Halmahera and Sarum. North Maluku has two species of endemic birds of paradise. Uniquely among the Maluku Islands, the Aru Islands have a purely Papuan fauna including kangaroos, cassowaries, and birds of paradise. While many ecological problems affect both small islands and large landmasses, small islands suffer their particular problems. Development pressures on small islands are increasing, although their effects are not always anticipated. Although Indonesia is richly endowed with natural resources, the resources of the small islands of Maluku are limited and specialized, furthermore, human resources in particular are limited. General observations about small islands that can be applied to the Maluku Islands include A higher proportion of the landmass will be affected by volcanic activity, earthquakes, landslips, and cyclone damage. Climates are more likely to be maritime influenced. Catchment areas are smaller and degree of erosion higher. A higher proportion of the landmass is made up of coastal areas. A higher degree of environmental specialization, including a higher proportion of endemic species in an overall depauperate community. Societies may retain a strong sense of culture having developed in relative isolation. Small island populations are more likely to be affected by economic migration. Climate Central and southern Maluku Islands experience the dry monsoon between October to March and the wet monsoon from May to August, which is the reverse of the rest of Indonesia. The dry monsoon's average maximum temperature is 30 degrees Celsius while the wet's average maximum is 23 degrees Celsius. Northern Maluku has its wet monsoon from December to March in line with the rest of Indonesia. Each island group have their own climatic variations, and the larger islands tend to have drier coastal lowlands and their mountainous hinterlands are wetter. Demographics Maluku's population is about 2 million, less than 1% of Indonesia's population. Over 130 languages were once spoken across the islands, however, many have now switched to the creoles of Ternate Malay and Ambanese Malay, the lingua franca of northern and southern Maluku, respectively. A long history of trade and seafaring has resulted in a high degree of mixed ancestry in Malukans. Austronesian peoples added to the native Melanesian population around 2000 BCE. Melanesian features are strongest in the islands of Kay and Uru and amongst the interior people of Sarum and Buru Islands. Later added to this Austronesian-Melanesian mix were some Indian and Arab strain. More recent arrivals include Bugis trader settlers from Sulawesi and Javanese transmigrants. Economy <inaudible> 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 Cloves and nutmeg are still cultivated, as are cocoa, coffee and fruit. Fishing is a big industry across the islands but particularly around Halmahera and Bacan. The Aru Islands produce pearls, and Sarum exports lobsters. Logging is a significant industry on the larger islands with Sarum producing ironwood and teak and ebony are produced on Buru. See also Maluku culture List of Maluku governors Topic References Topic Notes Topic General Andaya, Leonard Y. 1993 The World of Maluku Eastern Indonesia in the Early Modern Period Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-1490-8.
Bellwood, Peter Prehistory of the Indo-Malaysian Archipelago. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-1883-0. Donkin, R. A. Between East and West, the Moluccas and the Traffic in Spices up to the arrival of Europeans. American Philosophical Society. ISBN 0-87169-248-1. Milton, Giles Nathaniel's Nutmeg. London, Scepter. ISBN 978-0-340-69676-7. Monk, Catherine A., Jans de Fretz, Gayatri Rexodeharjo Lilly The Ecology of Nusa Tenggara and Maluku. Singapore, Peri Plus Press. ISBN 962-593-076-0. Van Osterzee, Penny Where Worlds Collide, The Wallace Line. Ithaca, Cornell University Press. ISBN 0-8014-8497-9. Wallace, Alfred Russell 2000, originally published 1869. The Malay Archipelago. Singapore, Peri Plus Press. ISBN 962-593-645-9. Further reading George Miller, editor, To the Spice Islands and Beyond, Travels in Eastern Indonesia, Oxford University Press, 1996, paperback, 310 pages, ISBN 967-65-3099-9 Severin, Tim The Spice Island Voyage, In Search of Wallace, Abacus, 1997, paperback, 302 pages, ISBN 0-349-11040-9 Bergren, Lawrence Over the Edge of the World, Morrow, 2003, paperback, 480 pages Muller, Dr. Cal Spice Islands, The Moluccas, Perry Plus Editions, 1990, paperback, 168 pages, ISBN 0-945971-07-9 External links Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Moluccas. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Deforestation in the Moluccas. The Spanish presence in the Moluccas. Ternate and Tador. An interesting article linking British possession of Run, a Banda Island, with the history of New York. Map of a part of China, the Philippine Islands, the Isles of Sunda, the Moluccas, the Papuans from 1760 in English in French.